Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. For those of you new here, hello, my name is Skylar. I am a certified dog trainer and pet nutritionist. If you have watched any of my nutritional videos here on my channel, you've probably heard me mention that kibble is not the best diet that you could be feeding your pet, and the more meat and moisture that you're able to add, the better. I often mention toppers and add tos in my videos, and a lot of people have been asking what exactly I mean by that, and if I could give some examples of things that they could be incorporating to their pet's diet to make it more nutritionally sound, more balanced to what they should be eating. First of all, why are toppers so important? Kibble is made for the convenience of the consumer, the pet owner, and not the optimal health of our pets. Kibble was purely made for convenience and cost sake. By adding to your kibble, you're able to give it a boost in nutrients, meat, and moisture that they're lacking in their kibble and that they need to continue on living a happy and healthy life. Now there is an endless combination of things that you can add to your pet's diet, but these are some of my favorites that are super easy to find in your local independent pet store or maybe even your grocery store for some of these, and they make really, really great add-tos. Very first on this list, we have freeze-dried or frozen raw. Adding freeze-dried or frozen raw meat to your diet adds more meat. As we all know by now, kibble severely over carbohydrates our dogs. Based on the primordial diet, your dog should really only be getting 12 to 15% carbohydrate in their diet, as opposed to the 30 to 70% that we see in a lot of kibbles. These raw foods are also higher in whole food vitamins and nutrients that they're gonna be missing from their highly processed kibbles. And one of the great things about adding raw into your pet's diet is the digestive enzymes that help to break down the food and make digestion super easy. Next we have bone broth. Bone broth is a natural source of glucosamine chondroitin. This helps to protect your pet's joints and keep them feeling younger longer. Bone broth also adds moisture, which is essential for proper organ function. This can also help prevent different illnesses that come from organ damage, like kidney disease. Goat's milk, one of my absolute favorite add twos. I did a whole video about it that I'll link up here as well as down below in the description. But goat's milk contains millions of live and active probiotics, which is gonna help replenish the good gut bacteria and make digestion a whole lot easier. Goat's milk is also a universal mammalian milk replacement, which means that it contains all of the essential vitamins, nutrients, minerals, and highly digestible proteins that your dog or cat needs to survive and thrive. Goat's milk is also a natural antihistamine, which means that it's gonna help to counteract those allergy responses, which is super great if your dog has seasonal allergies or if you're just trying to figure out what food allergies you're dealing with over here. For those of you not quite ready for raw yet, cooked meat is another great add too. Cooked meat, again, adds more meat into the diet, which helps to balance and counteract the high carbohydrates found in our highly processed kibbles. And again, cooked meat is gonna have so much more whole food sources of vitamins and nutrients than a kibble diet. Next we have pumpkin puree, and pumpkin puree is one of those things that I encourage every single pet owner to have in the back of their pantries. Pumpkin is a great source of fiber, it's really good for helping to settle upset tummies, and it's gonna be your secret weapon against both constipation and diarrhea, so great thing to have on hand. And again, because it's pumpkin puree, you are adding in that moisture, which is essential for proper organ function and is gonna help to prevent some of that organ damage. Last but not least, we have canned food. Since canned food is again in a can and not in those itty bitty teeny tiny little kibble shapes, we A, don't need a ton of carbohydrate to bind those shapes together to keep their form, and two, it doesn't need to go through an extreme extrusion process that strips the food of their vitamins and minerals that they need to be sprayed on after the fact. Canned food also is very high in meat, which you know by now is super great. It helps to balance the carbohydrate that we find in kibbles. And again, canned food has the moisture still intact, which is essential for proper organ function. Are you sensing a theme here? More meat, more moisture, much healthier pet. While this list is not super extensive and covering everything that you could possibly put into your pet's diet, I hope this gives you a good idea and gets you on the right track of thinking about different things that you could incorporate into your pet's diet to make it more healthy and more balanced in the long run. I do encourage you to add as much variety to your pet's diet as possible, and if that means adding a whole bunch of toppers to spice things up, you will wanna make sure to cut back on whatever kibble or dehydrated food that you are currently feeding, or else we're gonna gain a couple pounds here and there. If you would like any more information on any of the toppers that we covered in this video, please let me know in the comments down below. 
Again, I did do a whole video about goat's milk. I also did a whole video about frequently asked questions regarding raw diets. I'll leave those linked up in the cards up top as well as in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you'd like to see more from me throughout the week, I do have two Instagram accounts. One tattoo dog trainer is gonna be my personal and the other is top dog behavior. That's gonna be more of the businessy training nutrition side of things. You can also tag me in your super cute pet pics and you might see them featured at the very end of my videos in the end screen. So you can follow me there if you'd like and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.